Props going out to Gabriel Dupont, who cashed in with the sixth consecutive 100-dime winner last night with the Saints and Bears staying under the total. And, of course, instead of paying $99, you got that play for just $14, thanks to a discount coupon code at the site. And Brian Rosica made it five straight winning days as you got his winner last night on the Saints. Uh, and you got that at a discounted price as well. So that means over the past three days, all the handicappers combined here that I put discounted plays out for went 11 and 2. And leading the charge today is Steve Budin's number one NBA crew, and that is the New York crew, who last week, of course, opened the season with their first two plays of the year, and they won them both. Thursday, a 50-dime winner on the Oklahoma City Thunder over Cleveland. And then on Friday, 50-dime winner on the Bulls over Portland. You got both of those plays at discounted prices, just like their college basketball winner on Oklahoma on Saturday, just like their NFL winner from the Cali Cartel, 50-dime winner number 17 out of 50 on Sunday with the Chiefs. And today, they've got 50-dime winner number eight in a row, New York Crew. 2-0 this season, 5-0 NBA Finals sweep the cap last season. And today, you save $70 and get that play for just $29 simply by using coupon code NYC29. NYC29. Charity play of the week going today. Brad Wilton winning day number 5 out of 6. 59 winner number 7 out of 11. His NBA total of the month, the Knicks Mavericks over under. It's a $99 play. You get it absolutely free by using coupon code FREE. He's coming off a winner on the Saints last night. And keep in mind, if the charity play wins, then tomorrow I will ask you to make a donation to an individual, a family, somebody in time of financial need on a quid pro quo basis. That's the charity play of the week. All your other promos available over on the homepage. Just one complimentary play for you from a guy who's on a 12-4 and four run with complimentary plays the past eight days after a 2-0 sweep last night, giving you both the Saints and the Atlanta Hawks. <laughs> Naturally, of course, I have my best bet on Duke. How did that turn out? Uh, tonight, I'm going to go with Alabama, plus the 13 points at Wichita State. Listen, the Shockers are definitely the better team here. And I mean, they've won 22 straight games at home. They've won 30 overall at home against non-conference teams, 30 in a row against non-conference teams. But the problem I have with laying 13 points with Wichita State tonight is the fact that this team is an awful free throw shooting team, just 64.6% on the season. And if you can't hit your freebies at the free throw line, when you're asked to cover double digits, you're going to more often than not get backdoored or simply fail to cover the price. Uh, Alabama really hasn't played anybody, but listen, Wichita State's coming off a bad game. You may see a final score that they beat Detroit on the road on Saturday, 77-68, but they were down by 10 points in that contest. The only reason they managed to win it is they grabbed 18 offensive rebounds, which is a considerable number considering the Chalkers don't have a lot of height and they're not a great rebounding team. Well, Alabama does have some height. So I'm going to go with Alabama. I don't think Alabama wins this game, and I certainly don't think Wichita State gets upset again like it did at Utah a week and a half ago. But again, this is about staying within the number, and I think the Crimson Tide definitely can do so in this spot. So I'll grab the points with Alabama and put that 12-4 and four run with free plays on the uh, chopping block tonight. Good luck, everybody, and I'll catch you again on Wednesday when we do this one more time.